Pickaboots, I choose you. Pickaboots, go. Pickaboots, use your thunder drone. If you really want to master Pokemon, you can join the Pokemon Trading Card Game League. You can earn cool badges and become a master trainer. The Team Rocket card game set is in stores now. Go to wizards.com to find a store near you. trainers welcome back to another video we have yet again the pokey packs subscription box now if you want one of these boxes which i think are very very cool you can head over to pokeypacksbox.com use the code RUNGOOD to get five percent off your order they have both a gold box for 65 dollars and a silver box for thirty dollars i believe we're getting the gold box this month have not opened it yet but this is a product that is put out by my good friends up north collectors here also on youtube very great channel would highly recommend and you check it out. We've been sending some stuff back and forth. I sent them some quarterback club packs, which is my latest repack that you can get on rungoodlife.com. Man, I'm shilling everything during this intro. Oh, really? They send me some Pokebax boxes, so it's been a fun trade. Uh, I love Pokemon cards. I've been a Pokemon uh, fanatic since I was a kid. Uh, came out, you know, I was born in the 80s. I was in middle school and, sh and whatnot when Pokemon was starting to hit. Obviously, the video games, the... TV show and then the trading cards. I mean, I still have this is actually from a recent buy But I do still have some of my childhood cards But one of the things that I love doing with Pokemon cards these days before they got really popular uh, I like buying collections and sorting through it and uh, reselling some of the better stuff and uh, man it, You just can't do that now because Pokemon cards are hot outright price manipulation Especially base jungle fossil and even team rocket especially the neo stuff and uh, you know with some of the newer sets It's just hard to get the better sets, right? I think I've kind of had my fill of champions path But I would love to be able to find some evolutions packs some hidden fates uh, lost thunder just recently came out I actually missed the restock on all of that and I was so sad I saw a full cart somebody was checking out with a full cart full of elite trainer boxes and I was so sad I did not get my hands they even had evolutions ETBs I know there is much we can learn from each other if we can negotiate a truce we can find a way to coexist can there be a peace between us But Pokepacks Box is a great solution for when you can't find Pokemon cards and you're just kind of sick of ripping, you know, what you do is find on the shelves. Um, just a nicely curated box. Let's go ahead and get in and see what this month is. I don't want this intro to run too long, um, but definitely wanted to talk about their uh, what they're doing. Pretty happy with it. I ripped one so far and uh, see what we get. Looks like we got another Hitmonchan. I think we may have gotten that one last month. But you get a nice selection of packs in here. You get a... Oh, cool. We got a little figurine. Looks like a, a Lolian Vulpix. Um, that's pretty cool. That's probably just going to go... Oh, and we got a pin. So these are some of the stuff that come in the ETB pins. Or that come in the Elite Trainer Boxes. So we got a little pin as well. The packs are what we are really here for. And uh, let's take a look. I think this is just going to have the gold box... So shiny V, so we're getting a Japanese pack. That's awesome. Me and Luke, uh, I think it was Luke, we were having a conversation about what we should have, what they should put in future boxes. And I said, I'd really like to see some Japanese or Korean packs. So we have Burning Shadows, Ultra Prism, Champion's Path, or Hidden Fates, Vivid Voltage, Darkness of Blaze, a random three card Dollar Tree pack, one other random pack, and some bonus items. Let's take a look. I know the intro ran a little long. So we have Sun and Moon. We have Team Up, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Champion's Path, Ultra Prism, Burning Shadows, and the Japanese pack. Uh, I don't even know what set that's from. I know they said that on there. All right, so we'll do those two. We'll actually save the Japanese pack. We're going to do Champion's Path last. We'll do Vivid. We'll do Darkness. We'll put the Japanese pack there. And um, Ultra Prism is decent. Burning Shadows is okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Three card team up pack. I don't expect to find too much in here. I don't think you can get EXs out of these Dollar Tree packs. You don't even get code. So Weedle, Pincer, and Energy. So not a whole lot going on there. P 
Pinsir, one of the original 151. Very underrated Pokemon. All right, get into Sun and Moon. I got to remember if it's three or four as the trick. I always forget. Uh, for anybody playing the game, there is the code. I'm no longer playing. We'll say three, and maybe I'm just wrong. All right, I'm not. Lily, great trainer. I did go back into the competitive game. Crushing Hammer, who everybody currently hates in the metagame for competitive Pokemon. Long live the king. Dupiter. Skarmory. Skarmory was great in the Neo set. He had a hollow, or he. Skarmory had a hollow in one of the Neo sets. I remember doing Japanese packs of that before it came out stateside. I think I messed up. I should have been four cards. Crabominable. This was one of my Pokemon in uh, the latest game. I can't remember which one that was. All right, we'll move on. We'll do Burning Shadows now. I think we're going four cards. I think we got to go four. So here is the code again for Burning Shadows for those who are playing the TCG. I have an account that has some really old stuff on it. Hopefully I did that right. We did do that right. All right, figuring it out. I've opened a million Pokemon packs and I still haven't figured it out, sure. You stupid idiot! Charmander, Panseer, Pikachu. I like that artwork on that Pikachu. I don't think I've actually even seen this Pikachu before. So that is some cool artwork. I am seeing an Ultra Rare in the back of the pack. Krogunk, Olivia, and... Hey, we got a Charizard GX. I have seen this artwork before. This is, I think I, this was a promo as well. So probably not too much value on this one. Even though it is the uh, the set version and not the promo version. I don't know. But it's cool. Anyways, we hit a Charizard out of the Pokepax box. So that is pretty cool. Not the Charizard we want. Not the most popular one. But hey, a Charizard is a Charizard. Okay, Charizard, I choose you! <laughs> we will move on. Ultra Prism, again, this is a set I'm not too familiar with. I kind of got out of the competitive game and uh, really didn't look at many of the sets. I always kind of know, like, the top cards, but I can't tell you what sets they're from. I tried to go back and play some competitive in 2019, and um, it was fun for a little while, but realized that I am way out of my element. I am a far cry away from the 2012 and 2013 run good that almost won the Pokemon World Championship that's a different story for a different time, and I'm going to tell that story on the channel at some point. And uh, that will be a half-hour-long documentary or so at some point in 2021. Skorupi and Bastidon going to be our hollow. All right, moving on to the four packs that I think are the best. We have a Japanese pack. Let's see what we can find. It has been a minute since I opened some Japanese packs. Okay, intro. Oh, it's not... Oh, there's some good stuff in this pack. I don't know if everybody gets this stuff or what, but let's take a look. This is cool. I think they're uh, advertising... I don't know what they're advertising there. Probably a set. But on here, they are advertising the Sword and Shield expansion. Sword and Shield was a lot of fun. Um, I had fun with it. I beat it. I didn't really go too far after that. It's cool. The thing I like about Japanese cards are even though you can't read the text, if you're familiar, you kind of get an idea. You know, especially if you've seen the English versions. Oh, that's super cool. Uh, looks like we have a whole bunch of stuff in this pack. I don't know if this is what we're supposed to get, but we have a... Uh, man, I don't even know. This is a new one. I don't know the name. But we have a whole bunch of good stuff in this pack. Uh, that's cool. That is cool. And uh, hey, a Rowlet, right? Owlet? I think it's Owlet. The evolution is Rowlet. And that card is kind of on like a reflective surfaces. I haven't seen these, so I'm not too familiar with them. But that's cool. And I believe uh, some of the newer Pokemon, the names just escaped me because I only saw them a handful of times. So disrespectful yeah. for yeah. you to say something like that! In the latest video game. But that's cool. And then... Man, I had this little guy on my team for a while, too, and I just can't remember his name. It's just not coming to me. Uh, something something with Corgi, but that just shows, shows my inexperience with some of the newer Pokemon. All right, we have Darkness Ablaze, we have Vivid Voltage, and we have Champion's Path to end it. Looking for those big Charizards out of these packs. Oh, yeah, here's a code if you want. I believe we're going four. I might... 
be ruining it. It might be three. Nope. Four. All right. Combuskin. Wimpod. Grimer. Grimer as a dark type. Makes sense. But in the um, jungle set, I think it's jungle, he was uh, and he was in a grass type for the, before dark types existed. Ducklet, the mascot of my team. We had Team Ducklet Dynasty when we were playing competitive Pokemon. Pokemon Breeders, Nurturers, and a Hydreigon as the rare in this pack. Hydreigon from the Dark Explorer set. My favorite Hydreigon lets you move dark energy all around your field. Was one of my very favorite decks to play during that era. Alright, we have a green code, so I don't think we're going to see anything too special in here. But maybe they'll fool us. Alright. Dusclops, Trubbish. Everybody knows Garbodor. You play competitive Pokemon. Choodle, who I thought looks a bit too much like Squirtle. Rockruff and Trachyon. I once played a deck in the TCG called Trachyon Town that consisted of just Trachyons. And uh, really against the right decks, because there was some electric decks that were really, really big at the time, it was a killer. Um, okay, interesting. So our code card is upside down. We'll have to see if it's white. Uh, let's not spoil it. I'm not going to show you guys if it's white or not, because I'm not going to look at it. I'm just going to take four. Put it there. Okay, cool. And I'm seeing something in the back. So it does look like we have an ultra rare to end the video. Let's see if we can hit one of those Charizards. Is it going to be? Is it going to be there? Sharpedo? I don't understand. Things were going so great. What uh, Eldegross V, so not quite, not quite the ultra rare we wanted, but overall, man, I had a great time doing that box. That was a whole lot of fun. Show you some of the hits. We have these little hits, and then we also have the Hitmonchan, and this was from, I believe, Evolutions, so they threw in that. We have Eldegross V, we have a shiny, and the name is just escaping me right now on these two. And then we also hit a Charizard, which is always fun to hit a Charizard. Uh, this is a very fun product. I think it's a very well thought out and well put together subscription box. Very good alternative um, to, you know, not paying over retail for if you want, you know, a particular product that's out that's hot. You know, Hidden Fates costs a lot. Evolutions costs a lot right now. So if you just want some, some packs and you don't aren't finding anything at the store, you know, you don't want to open any more Champions Path. I think this is a great alternate and it doesn't cost that much more than a uh, elite trainer box so again pokepacksbox.com you can use the code RUNGOOD at checkout to save five percent off either the gold or the silver box and uh that lets them know you know because they are sending these boxes my way hey like people on run goods channel really are into pokemon so if you are into pokemon you want to see more pokemon content just let me know in the comments below i typically have been doing about one pokemon video a month but i'm not opposed to doing more and uh, go ahead hit me with a subscribe and check out my website rungoodlife.com if you want to get into an upcoming group break got a whole lot of stuff going on and we're gonna keep it rolling all year long thank you guys so much for the support and i will catch you next time on down the road